What I try to emphasize in the presentation today is that looking at gender and potential gender differences can be a new way and a new perspective to look at the investigation of quality of life. So in general, when, when we do investigation to quality of life, we compare, we simply compare female and male patients. Um, but if you take into account the fact that there are differences in quality of life in the general population, it turns out that the results might look slightly different than what expected. So what is usually expected, what we usually find is that female patients tend to do worse. However, if you take into account differences in the general population, it turns out that male patients actually do worse, especially in terms of loss of role functioning and social functioning. And these are two dimensions that are actually strictly and closely connected to gender. So in a way, if we address a potential loss of gender role or of social functioning, uh, it is a new avenue to talk to our patients and potentially compensate some of the losses that will be inherent in a chronic disease.